the nation of Islam is not Sunni or Shia Islam. It is what scholars call a NRM, a new religious movement, starting in 20th century America. Many African Americans sought and found an alternative center of meaning rather than accepting the religion of previous slave masters. In the early 20th century, this new movement led by Elijah Muhammad offered a positive story about the African American past linked with Islam. This has been an example of black nationalism, giving a sense of pride and autonomy for many African Americans, especially in northern cities. Some of the notable figures on this slide include Malcolm X, who started with Nation of Islam, also pictured as Louis Farrakhan, the present leader of the nation. At the bottom is pictured Farrakhan shaking hands with Warathin Muhammad, son of the founder Elijah Muhammad. At the top is Malcolm X with Muhammad Ali, who initially was a member of the Nation of Islam. In the corner, you might notice Michael Jackson. He was never a member, being a Jehovah's Witness, but the Nation of Islam offered him legal assistance during alleged charges against, against him regarding the boys, the short people. Back in the normal days when students could go and visit religious services, there was a restriction for students without year-round tans. I've had a few Caucasian students who were turned away, not knowing that, not knowing that, uh, that the Nation of Islam has always had a racialist philosophy that whites are blue-eyed devils. Around the time that Malcolm X took Hajj, he had stopped believing this and eventually became a Sunni Muslim. The Nation of Islam, with certain elements of Islam, has still often served as a bridge for certain African Americans like Malcolm X or Muhammad Ali to become Sunni or sometimes Shia Muslims.